What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I am at Big Break. Uh, so it's a couple days after the tournament at Big Break and uh, it was a good tournament for me, best tournament of the season. And um, you know, what's kind of funny is I didn't pre-fish at all for this tournament. Uh, the only experience I had at Big Break here on the California Delta was from last year's tournament here. And uh, last year I did really good. And uh, pretty much this year my game plan was to fish what I fished last year and it worked out. So uh, today's video, I'm just gonna be going over the baits, the techniques, where I was fishing and uh, give you guys a little bit more in-depth uh, look at that pattern um, before I go any further I wanted to address something so a lot of you guys leave comments or message me on you know where I'm launching or where I'm fishing or in catching fish and 99% of the time I'll tell you, it's just that 1% of the time if like somebody gives me the spot or if I'm fishing with a buddy and it's his spot I won't tell you that, you know, that spot out of respect to them, but, uh, you know, if it's a spot I find or general, you know, public knowledge, I don't mind telling you guys at all. That being said, if I don't get back to you in time or if I'm unable to answer a comment or a message, uh, you can, what you can do is you can follow me on Fishbrain. So I've been on Fishbrain for about a few years now and it's an app you can download to your smartphone. Basically it's Instagram for fishermen. So you can log your catch and show exactly where you caught the fish, what you're catching it on. I know a lot of you guys appreciate when I tell you what baits I was catching the fish on. So I think this app will be a little bit of an easier way to kind of follow exactly where I'm catching and the baits I'm using. For example, for today, this island that I fished last year and I fished this year for the tournament and did well on, I'll go out there, hopefully catch a few fish, and I'll log it right on my Fish Brain app, show you exactly where I caught it, the waypoint, and the bait I was using so that you guys can take a look and go exactly there and do what I was doing. So, pretty neat deal. But it is about seven o'clock in the morning. I am gonna get load it up and then I'll talk to you guys about the setup and the bait here was what I did my damage with 99% of it on tournament day so let's start with the bait strike king rage menace black and blue I use a 5 aught trocar uh, flipping hook I've got a half ounce strike king tungsten weight and a little bobber stop this is 50 pound power pro braid I've got a Corrado 7 1 to 1 and then I've got a G Loomis uh, flipping and pitching rod. This is a heavy action rod, 7.5. It's actually a discontinued rod, but uh, any heavy rod will do for flipping. It doesn't look like much, but this bait gives off a ton of action. I found when this bite is on, this bite is on, and it just can catch really good fish. Now we're going to go out there and see if we can uh, reproduce it. We've got a little wind, so the bite should still be good, uh, and we'll find out. So I'm about to drop down. <laughs> here at the launch and from the last couple of videos you guys probably saw me pluck a few good fish off of a sailboat that sailboat right over there there's a lot of re release fish here a lot of tournaments are held here and uh, a lot of these release fish I think this is one of their first stops when they make their way back into the Delta catching them all on the drop shot So not a giant, but a, a fish. Snap a little photo. And what I can do is we'll open the Fish Brain app. Log catch. Cool little fish recognition uh, feature they have. <laughs> Actually knows it's a largemouth bass. Bait Z drop in green weenie. I'll just post it right there. So now the world can see I caught a dink off this sailboat. All right, enough of this. Let's get to the spot. All right, guys, we've made it to our first spot. This island was the deal, and it was more on this windblown side. Tournament day was a little windier. It's not as bad today, which I'm not complaining. I gotta be honest with you guys, I was not getting bit out there with a the Rage Menace like I thought I would. Actually, I think the tide needs to get a little bit lower. 
So I kind of got in the middle where they should be on a higher tide and just started throwing this frog around and that's a chunker. Let's selfie this one. Let's selfie it up. Man, that fish got airborne for that frog too. Let's log another catch here. Booyah pad. Bino frog. GPS my location. I'll post it up. There you go, guys. Come on out to Big Break, get in this donut and throw a frog when the tide's a little higher. What's funny is I did not get a single frogfish on tournament day and now I've got two. Ah, videos never go as planned. So, as always, videos never go quite as planned. This morning I came and everything looked perfect. I thought I was going to absolutely wreck them on the Rage Menace on the outside of the toolies. Didn't happen. Flipped, nothing, started throwing a frog, started getting bites. Tide has finally dropped down, you know, probably another few inches at least, and uh, I'm gonna make my way back onto the outside. Let's see if we can actually fish the pattern I was very confident in. Guys. And the main thing about this pattern was it was catching better fish. It was catching good chunks like that. I think that's a good sign and we'll be able to catch some more. So, all right, one fish on the range, Menace. Here's the deal. Love the Rage Menace. But, ooh, look at all the parasites in that guy's mouth. But, today they want the frog i mean this is the area i caught them that's how i was caught catching them like i was telling you on the wind blown side and i think there are probably still some fish to be caught like that but uh it's a frog bite today and i really can't complain so we'll just go fishing and i'll show you what i can come up with today that's the one I missed earlier when talking to Aldi on the phone. It's turned into a frog video. I'm, that's not a bad thing though. It's a new one. Come here. Not a bad one, another solid. Man, I had to work for that one. Glad I brought the frog rod today. something I think someone came can't already came through here and looked through the pockets Venice now it's like the third cast of trying it <laughs> weren't biting the menace this morning and they were biting the frog, and then the frog bite kind of got weak, and now they're <laughs> biting the menace.
Well guys, that is gonna do it for the video. Um, it kinda went to plan. I really wanted just to show you guys how I fished the Rage Menace for this tournament. And uh, I, you know, I didn't, I wasn't able to get that Rage Menace bite first thing in the morning, but uh, later this afternoon it picked up and they started eating it. So I don't know, it's kind of a weird day. I thought I, you know, conditions were setting up almost identical to the tournament, but uh, they were just eating that, that frog, so. It is what it is, but uh, as always, I'll link all my gear, all my baits in the description if you're interested. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I will catch you in the next one. Later.